Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Helling. This week, global warming. Most of us would never think to include the Adirondacks among places on Earth being threatened by climate change. But researchers at SUNY Plattsburgh say the Adirondacks, in fact, are warming faster than much of the planet, two times the global average. And while that warming for the most part has gone unnoticed, Scientists are predicting that over the next several decades, the rising temperatures could change winter as we know it here in the Adirondacks. For most of the winter months, the high peaks are still among the coldest places on Earth. But over the past several decades, the length of the winter season in the Adirondacks is getting shorter. The largest warming that we've experienced is during the wintertime. Dr. Eric Leibensberger, an atmospheric scientist at SUNY Plattsburgh, has spent the last several years recording and tracking air and water temperatures in the Adirondacks and Lake Champlain. After last summer's dire warning by the United Nations that many spots on Earth could feel the significant effects of climate change within the next couple of decades, Leibensberger and Alexandria Elliott, one of his Earth science students, started analyzing just how much the temperatures in the Adirondacks and North Country have changed. Poring over data from the past century, they found the Adirondacks are warming faster than many other parts of the planet. The temperatures have gone up about 2 degrees Celsius or about 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is a big number. It sounds like a small number. Um, but it, it's a big number, and our warming so far on the global scale is about one degree uh, Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So the warming that we've experienced in the Adirondacks is about double that. And Leibensberger believes that increase may double again within the next three or four decades if carbon emissions remain as they are, which he says could be a game changer for the alpine landscape and the high peaks for certain fish and wildlife and even winters as we know them in the Adirondacks. And so um, changing it just even a degree, uh, you know, we've seen noticeable changes in um, the snowpack across the Adirondacks, the spread of invasive species, and some of the ecosystems struggling um, to adapt as the climate warms. We have uh, been able to detect a, a number of impacts um, that we know that are being caused by climate change, not by something else. One of the examples, a shortening of the winter period. So fall is lasting longer into the into the later part of the year and spring is coming a little bit earlier um, and it might not seem um, like it's coming earlier but you know we have to kind of remi remind ourselves that things were actually quite different uh, 50 to 100 years ago. And along with the shorter winters the other seasons may see more severe rainstorms like those that devastated the mountain valley towns of Keene and Jay in 2011. And while there hasn't been as much temperature change in the spring and fall, the change during the winter months has been the most significant, especially over the past 40 years since the Olympics were in Lake Placid. It comes as no surprise to Alexandria Elliott, who says she has seen the changes in the winters over the years at her grandfather's home in the Adirondacks. I grew up um, playing in the snow and I have memories from the early 90s, you know, where snow banks were taller than my grandfather's outstretched hands. And I thought that it was just um, childhood imaginings because everything seems bigger when you're small. But then I actually found photographs my mom has from the early, late 80s and the early 90s that confirmed that these weren't just childhood imaginings, that these were actually my memories. And to know that, um, that those those winters are gone, that we've already exceeded the threshold is very heartbreaking for me. I think that the most important thing for the Adirondacks to consider right now is climate resiliency, how we can adapt to these changes and still thrive and still have a sustainable economy. This story is part of Peril and Promise, a national public media initiative from WNET in New York, exploring the impact of climate change here in the Adirondacks and around the world. And join us this coming June for Sinking Cities, a Peril and Promise special series examining the effects of climate change on four major coastal cities.